hello guys so it's been long that i've uploaded a video so today i have decided to uh, share our knowledge with you which is based on app connect enterprise so today i'll be making use of ibm ace v12 and uh, i'll be sharing a concept which is new or uh, newly introduced in ace which is called vault concept as part of which you can store a uh, uh, some credentials in a vault and later on you can use those credentials in your application or flow for example if you are connecting to a database you can store credentials of your database in a vault and so that your application can use those so let's quickly get started so I have created a simple flow so let's uh, drag and drop uh, some nodes into the this flow let me quickly do this so if you can see uh, in asv12 this look and feel of those nodes uh, has been modified so this is pretty cool if you see right so let me drag and drop compute node let's quickly connect the terminals provide required properties okay so let me quickly write a database connection code so i already created a dsn with name local db so i i am providing uh, the same property on compute node okay now uh, let's set output row dot json dot data dot db okay let's quickly connect to a table I have a table called employee so what I am doing uh, whatever is present in that table I am retrieving each and every value in this tree okay so save it so I think uh, code uh, is ready let me also drag and drop exception handler so that if there is any database exception we can directly okay so we are ready with the flow let me uh, deploy it to the execution group okay so it is deployed successfully now let's try to run this um, here is my postman here is the url this is my integration server port this is the endpoint which i provided let me again confirm if this is the same endpoint okay so let's hit it okay so we are getting an exception Okay. it is uh, saying data source name not found and no default uh, driver specified so let me check if this is uh, the correct database name local underscore d okay this is incorrect deploy it again again run it okay so this time it is uh, saying invalid username password because uh, I mean providing uh, the DSN name only will not do okay if you remember in iib we used to run mkisi set db params command uh, 
to basically set the credentials okay and then after that we uh, had to reload the uh, integration node or integration server which is using this dsm okay so in ace we can also do the same we can uh, here also we can uh, you make use of mksi set db params command to set the credentials but there is another concept introduced which i am uh, uh, going to teach you in this uh, lecture which is a vault concept okay so uh, in vault concept those credentials are stored in a vault in a encrypted form and this encryption will be a symmetric encryption you don't have to worry about uh, the encryption mechanism this all automatically happens you just uh, run uh, you just have to run uh, some uh, set of commands okay so let's get started so this is my console let me expand this so command i have handy with me so this is mqsi vault command Okay, let me con correct my integration node name. Okay, so if I uh, run it, it will show me error. So it is it is saying this integration node is running. This command you issued cannot be processed when integration node is running. So let's stop it first. Okay, so my integration uh, node is stopped. Now, let me run mksi vault command to create a vault. mqsi vault space node create vault key. You have to provide a vault key. It can be any uh, string which you uh, want uh, to provide. So I am providing my vault key okay let's enter now a vault is created let's start our integration node see if you create a vault you cannot uh, start uh, your integration node without providing your vault key okay so if you are providing if you are creating a vault you have to start your integration node with the uh, vault key provided so let me again uh, run this command so this thing you have to provide okay so node has been started now a uh, vault has been created we have to store credential uh, inside this vault so for that we have to run another command which is called mksi credential command okay so let's uh, run this command so this is my node name this is my dsn name okay with uh, and this is of type odbc if you are making jdbc connection you can provide jdbc okay whatever uh, is the type of credential you have to uh, use this command accordingly username of my database and password of my database okay just hit enter So there is some problem. I think uh, we have to also provide integration server name. So again, after node provide integration server name and hit enter. Okay. So the create action was successful for credential name local db of type odbc so uh, now let's try to execute see this time i am getting the values from the database 
so I am able to successfully make connection with the database. I can also report those credentials using uh, this uh, credential command. So this is the command mksi credentials then your uh, node name and then execution group name. So the credential name local underscore db of type odbc contains username system from provider vault and has following properties defined password. Okay, if uh, if we see it on web UI, so let's uh, start web UI. Go inside your server, go to credential see this local db and the credential provider is vault okay also we can decode our credentials okay using the same key which we have provided while creating our credential or creating our vault okay so this is this command will help us to decode our credentials so let me run it so my node name my server name okay then decode credentials slash odbc slash my dsn name so let's hit enter Okay, the command, uh, okay, the MKSI Vault command cannot be issued while my integration node is running. So let's stop it. Node is successfully stopped. So let's again run the previous command to decode the credentials. See, you can see uh, username is system and password is system 123 okay so uh, there are various uh, other commands also uh, as part of which you can also destroy your vault if you don't want uh, these things okay so there is a destroy command i'm not gonna run it but i can show you the command okay so this is the command you can uh, destroy your vault with Okay guys, so this is it with today's lecture. I just wanted to show you how we can use, uh, how we can make use of uh, Vault concept in App Connect Enterprise. So thanks for watching. If you like my videos, uh, please do su subscribe, share with your uh, friends uh, and share your feedback. Do comment your questions. I would be happy to answer. Thank you so much guys. Bye-bye.